All of our videos here are brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due with the membership support, we're able to bring these videos to you each and every week. If you'd like to be part of our organization and help us bring these videos to you, make sure you visit www.irrigatortech.com and have a great day. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook up the cable. This cable is pretty simple. It's a three wire hookup. So all it has is three wires, and I'm a little on the colorblind side. So there's one green, there's a red and a black. The green's going to go to the REM port right here. It says REM on it. That stands for remote. It's kind of funny that they put this TRC remote on here because Hunter makes a remote, and they wouldn't need it to do all this. It would have been a lot simpler. So uh, this will go to the remote. The black and the uh, red wire will go to the power. The two yellow wires come off the transformer, and that's all I need. That's as simple as it is. And then that plugs into the hermit crab, and I can take over the clock. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to utilize the same hole right here. I can't. And I turn the power off, which should turn off the power of the clock. The display is still on, but that just means that there's a battery in the controller, so I'm not worried about that. The instructions here will tell me which cable goes to where. That's the double check. Here we are right here. So a black to the AC2, red to the AC1. If I do it wrong, what will happen is the clock will display the, the uh, word error in the window that lets me know I did it wrong. Make sure my wires are nice and tight. That's all there is to it. I'm going to open the hermit crab up because I'm going to replace the antenna that's inside of it with the antenna wire. If this clock was, this hermit crab was mounted outside, I wouldn't need to do anything because there is already an antenna built into the hermit crab. Marcy, get a piece of paper and a pen. Can you write this number down for me, please? So here's a little antenna that I just took off the hermit crab. The uh, serial number of this hermit crab is 15079-40151. And we use that number to register at the first and only time. So that makes it real simple. So two antennas is better than one? No, there's only a single connector for it. So I'm simply attaching the antenna to the antenna connector there. 
Very simple. Nothing fancy there. That's all there is to it. There it is there. I'm now going to take and plug in the cable. The cable's got a little arrow on it. It signifies where it goes. So I just center that arrow right into the hermit crab. Push it in. And once I get power back on, the hermit crab wakes up. And it's going to walk us through a, a uh, setup process. So the first thing it's asking us is, what is the host? What brand of clock am I plugged into? It's got to make sure it's talking the right language. Got to, if I'm talking to a hunter, I got to talk in hunter language. So I push the button. I get a menu of a bunch of different brands of clocks. I turn the knob to where it says hunter, and I push the button. Now I'm all done there. Next thing it wants to do is it wants to do a station test. So we need to turn a station on and physically see water. And it looks like we should be able to turn on station What's across the street here, Rob? What do you see? 30? Yeah, we're right there in front of it. Is what? What's that number? Oh, yeah, I can't see. 11? Looks like 11. Looks like 12. That looks 11. like 11. So let's see if we can turn on station number 11. Station test. For one minute. Again. And the other thing that's going to happen is the clock, in this case, is going to display 11. So that means I'm talking to the controller. So the clock is physically getting a signal to turn on station number 11. I don't know where it's at, but the clock is powering 11 right now. So I don't know if it's here or behind us. <laughs> but right now, station 11 is physically on. I'd still like to see some water, though, before we get out of here. So that part of it ran. It says, was this successful? Yes. Rain sensor, we're going to say disable. And then the last thing it wants to do is it wants to do a test dial. So it wants to physically make it communicate. I'm going to push the button. It has two bars out of four. So I dial. It says TX for transmission. It changes to RX for receiving transmission. And then it's done. So I'm connecting. So this thing communicates online. So we're all set. So as far as this thing is concerned, I'm done out here. Everything else I need to do, I do on a computer or a tablet. Now, for a more permanent installation, you might want to, you know, have some really nice bolts, you know, to mount on here. The kit comes with some additional, wherever the box is at. Yeah, the kit comes with some additional hardware. So it does have some mounting brackets that you can use to mount. I don't want to permanently drill holes in the stainless steel box right now, but it comes with some hardware you can physically mount it to the side from that standpoint. So, so that part we're done. Probably do some two-sided sticky.